Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. Let's jump straight into it and see how this person is feeling. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Okay, now there might be someone here feeling that things need to be adjusted or that things need to be changed or you need to release the past between this person, um, especially any negativity or toxic energy. Um, because this card can indicate that something wonderful is on the horizon, but there's a lot of negativity um, that needs to be let go, let, let go of. There's a lot of toxic emotions. So if you have been feeling this, I feel this person here um, is really wanting to let go of toxic energy. They don't want this around your connection anymore. So there's change, changes or adjustments that are going to be made by this person. It could be a bit of a change of course here. Um, now this card can also symbolize a crisis. Um, and I feel like this crisis, <clears throat> this realization or reevaluation that this person needs to do um, is the only way to move forward in a situation here. So there's definitely a lot of reevaluation. It's it's where is this going? Okay, it, it might be a person that's questioning the direction of this relationship. Where is this going? Whether it's you or it's them, Virgo. There might be someone that feels like they're slipping or they're detaching. Um, because this moon is now a half moon and slipping away um, because the moon catches less and less light. Okay, so it's moving towards dis full disappearance at the new moon. Um, so it, it, it's, it's an energy of feeling like you need to fall away or you need to reevaluate um, to release or to trust. So let's have a look and see what else comes up around this person, Virgo. Okay, you've got the sun with the four of pentacles. The chariot with the eight of swords okay look the sun card brings a lot of illumination and things to light especially if you are dealing with a fire sign aries sag or leo here um the sun card is something being in its early stages but it's also it also has children here and what this can re represent is something being in its early stages or something that needs to be learned okay so if you are in a connection that's still very very young it's still very early the relationship, the connection, the two of you don't know each other. I think you're blossoming into a really, really good phase here. And I think for a lot of you, if it is a fire sign and someone you've just started dating, um, or even if it's not a fire sign, things are blossoming nicely and adjustments are being made whilst the two of you are learning about each other. So this is quite, um, it's like you're fitting together like a puzzle piece. There's someone feeling like adjustments are being made. They might be adjusting their behavior. They might be adjusting their goals. Um, they might be adjusting themselves when they're in front of you, Virgo. And this shows a, a, a very keen interest in someone, okay? Oh, sorry, a, a very keen interest from them to you, I should say. So this is very nice to see. The sun is the bringer of life, okay? You've got the sun and the moon, divine masculine and divine feminine energy here. So someone definitely feels like you could be extremely compatible with them and you could be their other half. So this is quite intense and quite powerful. But um, with the children here, children by nature are very inquisitive. Um, they're intrigued, they're enamored, they're... they're you know, their interest is captured very, very quickly here. So you're definitely, there's definitely someone here that feels very, very interested in you, Virgo. Um, but they're still in the adjustment phase. So you're going to have to give them time. Some of you, this person could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or even if they're not. The four of pentacles is really an energy of feeling like we need to keep our cards close to our chest. But it can also be withdrawal in a way because he's not so much taking action. He's actually sitting very poised, very comfortably, holding on to the thoughts, the feelings, the possessions that he has within his reach. And what I mean when I say this is, is that for those, some of you, there is someone that's taking time away from you to reevaluate things. So you might see that they're not maybe as chatty as they were before, or they're not as expressive as they were before. Or for the next four weeks, you might find that this person is just sort of observing everything. I feel like they're not actively participating, but they're still observing. So things are going on. You might not see much from them or hear much from them even, Virgo, but, but things could be happening with this person. It's almost like things are happening behind the scenes and are not readily visible to you. But there is someone that feels like they need to hold on to you there could be someone that's a little bit fearful of losing you, 
Okay, and I say that because you also have the Eight of Swords here. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be that mentally this person feels like anxious or nervous around you. If you're making adjustments, Virgo, if you're the one that are making these adjustments, I feel like this person is catching on and they're afraid that you're going to turn around and tell them something that they don't necessarily want to hear. So they may be acting like they need to turn a blind eye to your behavior or they need to turn a blind eye if you've been acting disinterested here. Okay, um, it could, could be fearfulness because there's someone that could feel stuck. Okay, the notion of staying um, in in a in the current position is a little bit worrisome for some of you um, people dealing with this kind of person here, Virgo. So look, there is someone here that's that's worried about becoming too routine, becoming too much of a routine couple, um, getting to a point where they don't see a future because the blindfold is not is not seeing your vision, not seeing it very clearly, or presuming things, making up scenarios in your head, or in their head, I should say, that you know aren't very healthy in fact they're detrimental to the connection or to your said relationship so it could be more an air sign and we know air signs can be very much in their head presuming things assuming things are quite analytical they're very imaginative and they're quite presumptuous as well so i'm not sure if this is an air sign that's coming through but there could be someone that's feeling like they need to release something um but for some reason they're not ready to release something here yet um, they're, they're a bit in a, of a transitional phase. They know that something needs to be done, but they don't want to go ahead and do it, which is quite a contrast because you also have the chariot card here. Now, this could be a cancer in particular. If you are dealing with a cancer, I do feel like there's wonderful things coming in around this person. There's wonderful emotions. The star card could be Aquarius here as well. I just want to mention that you did have swords and the stars, so we could read it as an Aquarius as well. But the black and the white sphinxes here, this is divine masculine and divine feminine. These sphinxes equally, so there's a lot of reciprocity, they equally work together to pull the chariot, to pull the mighty, the heavy, the big chariot behind them. And for a lot of you, the chariot can be an analogy to your connection or to your relationship. But what I love about this is that someone's feeling very connected to you and feeling like you're both making adjustments. So you're both trying to make things work. There's There, there could be re-evaluation re needed on both sides here, Virgo. So it might not necessarily just be this person. Um, you might also be there with them. But major re-evaluation is happening around this person. But the chariot symbolizes progression. It's moving forward. So this re-evaluation technically will help the situation move forward in whichever way helps your relationship, your marriage, your connection, um, you know, you seeing each other, whatever it is. But there's someone that, that feels like you're destined for greatness or you're destined to move forward in some way. Now, the Cancer energy can be quite a sentimental energy as well. So if there is someone that's trying to make adjustments from the past, because Cancer can symbolize um, emotions from the past or attachments with past people, there could be these adjustments or reevaluations that are being made. Someone might be reevaluating a relationship that wasn't successful, and it's almost like they're drawing comparison from an ex relationship that wasn't healthy, didn't go according to plan, to your relationship, which is actually much different. Okay, there's a difference, there's a contrast here. Because you can see the black and white, it's it's a very um, stark contrast that's happening here. But look, I definitely feel someone's um, thinking very seriously now, or they're starting to take you more seriously, they're starting to take more, the future more seriously, or the pacing of the relationship. But there's also someone on the other side of the spectrum that's also um, retrieving into themselves because adjustments are being made, whether these are internal or whether these are inapplicable um, in application to your relationship as well, Virgo. So I will leave it at that. I do want to thank you for watching and supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot, Virgo. 